Welcome to the Bushido Gang. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Attack on Samurai bringing you all a Pokemon Showdown Live in the old gens. So, today, I'm going to be playing some RBYOU, and the team I have for y'all is going to be a team that focuses around uh, four attacks and relax plus Porygon. Now, <laughs> I've seen some Porygon play for RBYOU, and uh, Porygon is very interesting. Um, it's interesting because it is one of the few mons in the metagame that can actually handle Snorlax very well. Um, at least, like, at least the variant of Snorlax that runs, um, the variant of Snorlax that's, uh, that's, you know, like, Reflect Call, not, not Reflect Call Mine, Reflect Ice Beam, um, Body Slam. It can actually handle that pretty well, and, uh, and pretty much can, uh, can wall it to some extent. So... It's one of the better lack checks because of that. Also, another thing to note is that because it's a normal type, it can't be paralyzed by Body Slam. So that also makes Porygon a very, very uh, interesting mon because of that. So yeah, so before we get started with this live, uh, please make sure to leave a like and comment on the video. Let me know. I guess, uh, I guess if you could buff one Pokemon in RBYOU, what would it be? <laughs> Honestly, I don't think any of these mods need, needs buffs or needed buffs in this generation. I mean, they're they're pretty much set. They were set the moment they were made. But I guess if I had to give one little buff to one Pokemon, I'd probably give uh I don't know. I'd probably give maybe hmm. You know what? I'd probably give um I'd probably give Starmie Explosion. <laughs> I'd probably give Starmie Explosion just because that could actually make it a better revenge killer. Or a better, like, you know, a way to force out things with Explosion. I think that would make it pretty fun. <laughs> That's just one little thing I'd do. But, um, but yeah. Uh, anyways, let's dive, in, let's dive into the games real quick. Well, actually, let's dive into the team builder real quick. And then we'll dive into the games. Um, I do apologize for this live, though. Because this live for RBY, it should have been up. Well, okay. This vid, or today as I'm recording, it is Thursday, so you guys are going to get two vids today. You guys are going to get an old gen vid and a, and a gen 8 vid because I was not, I didn't really, I really didn't spend enough time. I really didn't set up my time enough for this week to actually get enough game to actually like record games and such. I don't know. I just kind of got, I just got lazy, I guess. I just got lazy this week and just didn't really record that much. But, uh, but yeah, um, we're back though. We're back. Um, just a quick run through the team. We have Starmie as the lead, Porygon, Snorlax, Chansey, Tauros, and Executor. So a very offensive looking team. Not a whole lot of walls, to be honest, besides Porygon and Starmie. So we're going to go very offensive with this team. So Starmie's job is to, t is to paralyze things on lead. Um, granted, we don't want, we don't want to paralyze like everything on lead because my opponent will make the, will take the opportunity to go Chansey to avoid getting slept. So we want to try and like avoid T-waving too much, but definitely keeping Starmie around is good for speed control too. So if we can at least get the trade off with Starmie to go to sleep, that's much better than having it get T-waved, especially for the late game. So at least we can bring it back to potentially have a chance to, you know, recover with it or potentially bring it back um, in the late game. So Thunderbolt, Bl Thunderbolt and Blizzard are really good for pressuring uh, Egg, Rhydon, uh, uh, Zapdos and such. Bullpeam coverage is just fantastic in RBY just because it just covers so much. And they have recover to keep Starmie healthy. Porygon's going to be rocking the same set as well. Um, T-Wave, Recover, or T-Wave, T-Wave, T-Bolt, Blizzard, and Recover. So again, T-Wave to slow things down. Thunderbolt to get the, to get some chip on the waters. Uh, Blizzard to hit the grasses and the and the grounds and then recover to keep Porygon healthy. Uh, then we have Lax, which is going to be, like I said, the 4-attack Lax set with Body Slam, EQ, self destruct and, and a Hyper Beam. So, what's cool about this is that um, since my since I have two ways, or actually three ways, of slowing down the opponent, um, I can actually be able to outspeed my opponent with my own Lax and just kind of Body Slam through them. So, it's pretty... It's pretty nice, actually, uh, for that. EQ is going to be there for Gengar. self destructs so we can boom on things. That could be a problem, like a, like a Tauros in the late game. Um, then we have Beam to also guarantee that we knock out Chansey at around, I think, 60 -ish percent. Around, like, 60-ish percent. So we don't have to risk going for boom. So, um, so yeah, I think it is 60. It should be 60. I know with Tauros, it's definitely 60. Um, but I think with 
Lax is about the same. Could be wrong though. I know Lax is stronger than Tauros. Um, Lax has better has a better attack set than Tauros, but I don't know if Beam kills. I think it does. Chance is going to be rocking. You know, a similar set to again the other the other two. Uh, Bolt Beam with T Wave and Soft Boil. So again, Chansey. As a mom, we want to actually like get, like get T Wave. We want to get the trade off with T Wave for Chansey, so that we so that way our my own Chansey can avoid getting uh getting slept because a slept Chansey is a dead Chansey. Just remember that a slept Chansey is dead. A frozen Chansey is also dead. So I don't want any of those happening. So basically, the whole thing is if Chansey gets frozen or Ch no 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 if Chansey gets paralyzed, then we can avoid getting frozen or avoid getting slept. That's kind of the key. That's kind of why Chansey loves getting paralyzed. Um, so yeah. Again, Bolt Beam covers basically basically what I said about the same about the same with Starmie and Porygon. Tauros, rocking, you know, there's the standard Body Slam, Blizzard, Hyper, Hyper Beam, EQ set. And then Egg running dual status with Psyche plus Boom. So that's that. Let's dive in to get some games. Originally, this team had Rhydon, but I um had some issues with this because I... Uh, well, yeah, because I didn't really have a way to handle the electrics. Uh, or really, yeah, I didn't have a way to really handle the electrics. I was just like, you know what? We're gonna go with, uh, we're gonna go with Egg, uh, to handle the electrics better. So my opponent's gonna be rocking an Egg. Um, I'm okay with this, with this sleeping me. Like, the only play they can make is sleep, unless they want to sunspore me. Um, but Egg lead is definitely weird. Like, that's not a very, it's <laughs> not a very common thing. It's not actually good, to be honest, because Egg gets beat by... It gets destroyed by uh, two of the most common mons in RBYOU as the lead or in the lead position, which is Starmie and uh, and Jinx. So, um, so I will Blizzard here. If they go for Sleep Powder, fine. I don't mind it. Uh, let's see. Uh, they do go for Sleep Powder, which is again I don't mind. I want this getting slept anyway. So they're probably gonna go for Sunspore next. I can actually go Chance here on Sunspore if they do want to go for that. Oh, they go Tauros. That's fine actually. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do is go, I want to, I really want to go for T-Wave, but I'm afraid of them going Chansey, so I don't want Chansey getting, t I don't want their Chansey getting, uh, getting slept, or getting paralyzed, because I can't sleep it, I want to sleep with my egg, so, I'm going to go Lax first, yeah, exactly, and, um, I, I'm going Chansey here, I want this to get T-Waved, they might go for Blizzard, they might, or not Blizzard, go for Ice Beam instead. They go right on. Okay, that's fine. We can Ice Beam this now. Um, Yeah, cool. We get the damage off on that, which is great. They go for Sub, which is a horrible play. <laughs> I don't agree with this play at all. Um, I'm going right. I'm going Egg right now since we hardwall this thing. And uh, I will get a free sleep off now. So this going to sleep is great. If we land, of course, <laughs> which we don't. <laughs> which we do not land. So I'm going, I'm going to go for it again. Um... I probably didn't have to, to be honest. I'll just Psychic anyway, because he's letting this die. I felt that was a bad play on his end to just throw this out like that. But, uh, right on today, which is which is better for us anyway. So, Tauros gets to come in now. I can still go Lax of my own. Or even Starmie too, but Lax is still safe. So, I'll still go Lax here. As they go for the Body Slam, they do some damage, but they have to go Chansey. Which, what I can do is go, uh... You know what? They're probably just gonna stand. I'm just gonna body slam. Okay, they want they want the freeze. They don't get it though. Um, I could boom this. I could have boom this right now, but I'd rather save the boom for later. Actually, yeah, I'd rather save my boom. I don't need to go for that right now. I could try and wake up with Starmie too if I want to. Um. Hmm. Pori doesn't take body slam very well from Tauros. And I'm pretty sure they have a lax of their own too, so I need to keep my Porygon healthy. Uh, and let's see. Yeah, I'm not letting this. I can't boom this. I'm going. To, I'm going Chansey. They got actually go lax. That's fine actually. Um, cause what I can do now is go Porygon. So I'll go Porygon here. As they probably go into uh, what do they do? They go. They go body slam, which is good. Okay, so I can recover here. They're gonna go Chansey now. They're not going Chansey. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna Blizzard in case they want to go Chansey now. I think that's safe. 
Like, I would like to not do this. I'd rather T-Wave this thing. That would be a lot better, but... Oh, they have Starmie as their last one. Okay. Uh, That seems fine. I'll go Chansey here. As they go for Psychic, which is fine. They get a drop, too, which isn't the best, actually. Um, I'm going to recover. I want to see what they... Uh, they Blizzard. Okay, that's not great. So, Psychic Blizzard, which means it'd be hard while this with Starmie, which is great. I could definitely wall this with Starmie. So they're probably going to make the Chansey play right now. Uh, knowing that. Yeah, they do. Which is fine because I actually want to see what kind of Chansey this is. So I'll make the Chansey play right now and see what they do. They go Tauros. Um, I'm going to Ice Beam. Yeah, exactly. And uh, we're going... Hmm. I'm going to Ice Beam again. In case you want to make the trade again. Or make the switch again. Or they want to bait the T-Wave. I can't go for T-Wave yet. Um, I'm going to Thunderbolt now. They go Blizzard. And now they're basically dead, which is great. So I could T-Wave this now and I will do it. Alright, there we go. Now we can beat Starmie. So great. Starmie's basically dead. You have to go for a Blizzard or Freeze. Or to, to, to uh, Freeze me, I mean. But now the Starmie's paralyzed. That means that we that my own Starmie's going to be able to outspeed it. Which, if we can wake up, of course. <laughs> so I need to waste a turn still. Um, okay, they make the good play to go start to go egg. They're gonna boom now. And they have to boom. So let me think about this. Let's see. I need Toro still. Starmie's basically dead. I could probably throw this out actually. I don't think I need Chansey anymore. I'll ice beam. I think that's probably a fair trade, cause I can still handle their own egg because of my egg. Or their their chance because of my egg. So this still isn't the worst thing in the world and um anyway. And I can also still sleep something too. So we're still in a better spot than uh still in a much better spot than he is. So I think Tauros is coming out. I'm going Tauros right now. Yeah, and we're gonna body slam here. So we're gonna body slam the Tauros. They're gonna have to go for the trade. Or they could go lax too, which is also likely. Nope, they're just gonna go for it. Uh body slam. Beam doesn't kill Chansey, and they could just go uh, Lax. So I'll still go for my Body Slam anyway, yeah. So they go Lax there. Uh, I'm going right back in the port. If they make the switch back, good play. Probably will. Nope. All right, cool. We get to keep Pori alive. So I'm going to recover here again. And go back into Tauros. And I will T-Wave this. Please don't do it. I'll be real upset if he actually goes If he has to go Chansey right now. Actually, no. If, Ch if Chansey gets T-Waved... I think it's still fine. He beams and okay, kills me. That's fine. So, I'll go back in the Tauros here and just body slam again. Lizard's also not that bad, but I think body slam is still safe. So, yeah, I think he made the right play to beam. Beam was going to kill. And now we can beam uh, Lax, I think. Actually, I'm going to Blizzard first in case. They're probably boom on this, though. Like, no way they're not boom. Tauros dies. Chansey's the only mon that can come in I don't know, like something on beam and live. Like Unless I crit. So gonna Blizzard. Yeah, he's gonna boom. I should've went for beam. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, so I, I think we might have lost. Yeah, I think we might have lost this. Um, I have to go lax here. I might. We might lose this, but I'm not sure yet. Um... Shoot, I should have went for Beam. Beam definitely would have killed. So, now they can T-Wave me, I guess. Mm. Going Star me. Are they Bolt Beam? It might be Bolt Beam. I'm going to go Egg here. See if they are Bolt Beam or not. <sighs> okay. That was a smart play. I should have went for sleep. Sleep. Well, not on the turn. No. Now I played around with lax too much. I should have. I should have beamed it. But I was thinking too much about Chansey just living beam because <laughs> Chansey can't live beam from Tauros at the range it's at. So beam definitely was the better play. I should have just went for it and just stuck with my gut because lax did. Or because I mean Tauros did kill that. Alright. 
Um, I'm going to try and wake up a Starmie. He could potentially miss Body Slam. Alright, so let's see if we can wake up. If we can wake up, we're good. Uh, we don't wake up. Alright, so we're dead. It's fine. Really? Why? I'm conf Why did he do that? The fuck? What? Okay, you fucked up real badly. <laughs> you fucked up so badly there. Why would you make that play? I'm so confused. I'm going egg on Chansey right now. There you go. And now I can just sleep this. Even Psychic's fine too. But sleep is good too. Okay. Mm. Starmie doesn't die. They have to T-wave. So, or recover. So I'm thinking... I can't boom. <laughs> I can't boom. That's the thing. I can't boom. <sighs> Let's see. Going Starmie. If they, if they recover, they blizzard. We don't die though, which is good. Um... I'm recovering. Um, let's see. Do I take the T wave trade? I think I have to. Um, the only play you go for is probably Sing. So I'll probably Sing here. Um, no, he has the T wave. He has to. So you know what? I think this getting slept. I think this getting paralyzed might be better actually. Um, even though I would have liked to sleep this thing. I, I don't think it's even possible now. So I'll just T wave it and just go for the para. Okay, we do get the full para, which is funny. Um, I'm going lax now on their T wave or their sing, whatever they do. Okay, well they're not gonna get that off, and we can just body slam here for free. They go Starmie, and Starmie's dead. Perfect. Don't got to deal with that thing. And we should be good to go. Because I still have my egg, which is still uh, faster than his Chansey. And uh, all I have to do... Really, I could, just boom, I could just boom right now, and I'd still win. That's GG. Alright. Well, I probably shouldn't have said it yet, because I had to actually, like, land... But I could just T-Wave though, and T-Wave should, should do it uh, here as well. Hold on, wait. Let me just make sure. I think T-Wave is safe. I'll just T-Wave this. So if he does boom, beam, and kill, then we could just... Well, I have to boom now. <laughs> now I have to boom. So, uh, it's a tie. I didn't want it to be a tie, but, like, it's fine. So, we ended up winning. We only dropped one point, and they only got one point. I definitely think I messed up here. I messed up a lot because I let, like, I don't, okay, no, no, no. He messed up a lot too because I don't know why he went for sub on ride on like that. That play made no sense to me. Like, why would you, like, what turn, like, what turn was that? That was like turn, turn something. Turn, uh, the turn, the turn he subbed. I forgot what turn that was. Oh, it was turn five. Like, why would you sub there? I don't get that play. I don't. I really don't get that play. But whatever. So we we tied it. I don't think that was a tie. I don't think that should have been a tie. But fine. Uh, at least you guys got to saw the power of Porygon. And now we got to fight this guy. I actually fought this guy last night while I was testing the team again. And uh, I'm not going to lie. This guy's an asshole. But you know what? We can handle him, I think. I think we can. Um, I, uh... I am going to go into uh, Chansey here. So I'll go Chansey because he's gonna t he's not going to T-Wave. Yeah, he's going to go Chansey on my T-Wave. And I'll Ice Beam here and go for a freeze, which we actually got. Wow. Awesome. This is a great start. Perfect start. We're going to go Egg now, and I will sleep this. But they land sleep first, which is still fine. I don't mind that. Um, They're going to go into Tauros probably. Yeah, Tauros makes sense. Or they just Psychic Spam, which is also fine. I don't mind that either. They go Tauros now. We don't wake up. 
I still have Starmie, so I can go into that or go Lax. Lax isn't the best, honestly. It's definitely not the best. Now there's Pori, because Pori gets 2 KO'd. Um, so I'm probably going to have to go, go for the trade. Go Starmie here on Body Slam. Uh, we don't get Paralyzed, which is good. I'll just Blizzard here on Chansey. Just get some chip on it. And uh, let's see. I'm going to go Chansey here as they go for Ice Beam. So they want to try and freeze me, which is fine. Makes sense. Uh, T-Wave doesn't really help. Oh, it still helps, but not really. I don't really have much of an option now. Mm. Let me think. I would have liked to get this paralyzed at least, but he's not going to do that. So let me think. If I T-Wave it, I don't want this getting frozen. That's the only issue I have right now. This mod getting frozen, but... See. Chance of getting frozen is not what I want. I don't want to go Starmie either. A Starmie isn't bad. Definitely isn't bad to go into, but it's just the fact that Freeze sucks. Like, I don't like handling Freeze, or I don't really have a way to handle Freeze that well. I'm going to have to throw out Porygon, actually. Um, Because I think if... No, I think he had a different team last time I played him. I think he had, like, Jinx or something. So this is definitely different. So Zam, Chansey, Egg, Tauros, Lax, and then Rhydon. I, I think it was Rhydon. Rhydon or Starmie. Probably Starmie, actually. Starmie might have been, like, an Enmon. Um, which means I definitely need Chansey alive. Because he wants to freeze me, because... If, if he freezes me, his Psychics can win. So I don't want that. I wish Porygon was faster than Chansey, that'd be better. Mm. <sighs> it's not easy. It's just not easy. Exam getting frozen, honestly, isn't the best, isn't the greatest thing now, because you could just switch into that as is a uh, fodder. Let me think. Fuck it. Whatever. I'll have to just go with that. And I'll go lax now. Any day freeze me. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. Like, it was guaranteed to happen. Almost guaranteed to happen. So, now I lost one of my boomers, which is not great. So, he slept me and he froze me. So, we honestly aren't in the best position at all at the moment. Because I just lost a lot of offensive pressure because of my last getting frozen. So, really all I have is Tauros. So this is ass. We might end up losing now because of that. Of course you freeze. So of course he gets the freeze again. Just body slam here. Hopefully we get a full para. We do. Okay, so now now we should be fine. Um Alright, goes for lax there. I can make the Pori play here. He body slams, gets a crit. I'll recover here. Since he's going to go Chansey anyway. Oh, no, he's he's just going to go for beam. Or I, Yeah, he is going to go for beam. Uh, I'll recover again. No Chansey. I'm going to try and wake up with Egg if I can. Because... Okay. No, he was Oko Chansey. That's what he was. I remember now. He was Oko Chansey on this. So you got one Oko. Um, that's better. I think it's still better to go Tauros and hope for the um, hope for the uh, full para, which we don't get any misses. You know what? That's definitely worth it. So he was dual dance, or he was dual status, probably, or bolt beam. No, bolt beam makes sense. Definitely bolt beam makes sense. Body slam here on egg. Uh, he'll go for boom now. So I think uh, I definitely need Starmie for his last first Starmie, 
and I need Tauros for everything. <laughs> I literally, I literally need Tauros for everything. Um, he might be stun spore too. I think boom makes sense. I'll go last year on boom. Okay, so never mind. All right, well we have to go for this. <sighs> Fuck. Go egg. I'm trying to wake up. Okay, one turn. Come on, come on. Okay, please. Good. Okay, we actually managed to keep this alive, which is good. Um, he's probably gonna, he's not gonna go Zam. Like that's his. That's one of his abusers. He can't do that. Um, but he will just keep ice beaming. So. go Chansey on Ice Beam. Oh, he went Zam. That's also fine. So he was actually going to sack it, which means we can get a free switch. And uh, we'll go Chansey on T-Wave now. If he makes the egg play, good play. Good. All right. Now we, don't, now we can avoid sleep, which is great. And um, so this is actually looking very good now. Um, however, it's going to come down to some... Uh, it's going to come down to... Uh, what's it called? It's gonna come down to how many, uh, how long we can actually sell out our uh, our bolt beams and ice beams. So I'll just ice beam here, goes ice beam. So we're just gonna keep doing this for a little bit until my opponent makes another play. Goes lax, which is fine. T wave would have been good there. Uh, we go Pori again on body slam, and we just recover stall for a little bit. Recover for a little bit more. He might go. He might go in the egg, but I doubt it. I think Blizzard's fine though. I'll go for Blizzard. He actually did go egg. <laughs> we get the Blizzard off. We get some damage, which is definitely worth it. And um, if he sleeps this, well, I have again. I have two answers for sleep, so they're still in a decent spot. And I actually want to keep Pori alive for that Lax because this Lax is Body Slam Ice Beam, and because our Mons and because Lax is already frozen, that means uh, Lax Pori can't be frozen, which means that we basically can wall the Lax in a way. Um. This is actually really good. I'm going Chansey here. As they go for Psychic, which is fine. They got a drop, which is not fine. I'll softball here. And uh, they have to go. They can't boom. They don't They don't have to boom. They could always just go Chansey anyway. Like, that would just like that would just risk them missing their, uh, missing out on their sleep. So I'll go for T-Wave in case they do anything else, which they actually do. They go for Mega Drain, which means that we could just T-Wave this and slow it down, which means that Starmie's faster. Which means that my own egg is faster. Which means that they're kind of forced to go for boom, to go for boom right now. Um, which again I don't. Which again I really need. I actually need. I still need Chansey for that star me. So <sighs> they're probably gonna keep going for Mega Drain, but I really need this mom for star me. This game is not easy, man. It's not. It's really not easy to make these calls. I'm throwing out egg. Yeah. All right. That I think that was a safer trade. It would have been nice to keep a boomer around for lax, but I don't really have much of an option. I, I really didn't have much of an option. So losing egg like that kind of was the best play I had. Um. Anyways, let's see. Um. Hmm. They should go Tauros. I'll go Starmie. Okay, yeah, good. Can recover here since we're gonna go Chansey anyway. Oh, they went for Body Slam. Okay. I guess they really want that para. Go Chansey, that's fine. Go back into Chansey on my own. They're probably gonna make a double. Okay, we're gonna go for recovery here. Those lax, which is fine. Um, I'm gonna T wave this. Oh. Oh, bro, are you kidding me, man? That would have been so good. Oh, that would have been so good. Okay. I'm going for it. Got to. But my opponent is not. <laughs> my opponent is just breaking through every turn. Or every time, so. Beam doesn't kill Starmie. It's a roll. 
But knowing my opponent, he'll probably go for it anyway. Since he already put me in the ch since he already put me in the position with Starmie, so <sighs> all right. I could throw out Lax and get a free switch for for Starmie, but then I lose. But then basically, um, another Mon can get frozen. But I'm kind of out of options at this at the point at this moment. So I guess Lax goes, then I go Starmie to recover. Um, then I go back into Chansey, on his Chansey, and I could try and T-Wave again. I'll throw out Lax on Beam. Oh, yeah, she did Body Slam, okay. So, I'll recover here since they're going Chansey again. Oh, they actually went Lax that time. Okay. Surprised they did that. I'll Blizzard here. And, okay, so Lax is basically dead, which is great. Um, Cool. It lacks. They go Chansey there. Um, they want to T-Wave me. I'm going back into Chansey. They make the double good play. Um, but you have to T-Wave me. So I'm going to make the Chansey play anyway. They sing. Okay, so they were dual status. Good. Um... And their only move is Ice Beam, which means that all they can really do is, is T-Wave and Sing. Which means that as long as we have Chansey in here, he can't do anything. So good. Good. I can, uh... I can probably just Ice Beam here. And if we get rid of Lax, this is great. Perfect. Perfect. Great. Don't gotta deal with that thing. Um, however, we gotta deal with you, which is not the best thing in the world. Which isn't the greatest thing in the world. Uh, now that Pori, now that Pori was able to, was able to handle Lax, or I mean, yeah, Pori was able to handle Lax, we can just throw out Pori now, and, uh, they actually did Beam, wow. Okay, now we get to go Starmie and recovery here, keep this Mon healthy, go Chansey there, we go back to Chansey, I really want to T-Wave that, uh, that Tauros, though, I really do, if we T-Wave Tauros, then my own Tauros can handle it, but I'm just so afraid of making this play. But like he knows Chansey's gonna come in, so he has to make the Tauros play to get to get some initiative. But I'm at full. I really want to go for the T wave, man. It's so free. It's so free. Like this guy plays hella aggro. Like hella aggro. How many times did he bring in Tauros on this? Or Tauros on Chansey? He brought it in like twice, I think. Blizzard got the crit there. Bolts there. Okay. All right. Good. Um. Yeah, I'm T waving. Got to T wave that that Tauros. Soft might be might still be better though. It's still soft. Okay. Good. Now we T wave that. Chancey, that's fine. We ice beam here. Get some more chip on this. Goes for soft. So he's run, he's got 14 softs. Hmm. Alright, I'll just stay in here then. If he wants to play the long game with Chansey, we can play the long game with Chansey. I don't really mind it. The guy don't mind it at all. So. Um. So he goes for T-Wave there. He's really trying to catch Starmie or, or Tauros. If he catches one of those two, then it, then it might be over for me. Um. Ice Beam here. Okay, that's fine. T-Wave. Thunderbolt again. Alright, cool. Get some more chip on that. Thunderbolt one more time. I want him to waste his soft boils before I waste before I actually use mine. Like, I, I don't really need to use mine. So, Ice Beam here. Yeah, he's just gonna waste all of his Sings and T-Waves, which he has enough of anyway. So, he can actually win the stall, not the stall, but the, uh, the pee, well, PP stall. He can win the, the PP stall war better than I can because he has more status options than I do. So, he can, he can afford to do this. I'll just T-Wave anyway. Um, if we keep him low enough, oh, he actually wins Zam, like, that's fine. But why? Hmm. Just to waste PP. I think. I really want to go Tauros, but Tauros doesn't kill Chansey at that range. 
Unless I got a crit, but I'll just Thunderbolt here since we'll go Chansey. Alright. So let's see. 11 Ice Beams. 26 Thunder Waves. 22 Sings. So, yeah, he's just going to keep doing that. I think I've recovered now because he's in beam range. So if we get a full para, which we don't, yeah. Yeah, we're going to be here for a minute. Goes down. We get a crit, which I... Well, not a crit, but we get more damage on him. But he's making the he's making the right play to keep switching Zam in to take more... Um, to waste more PP. I should be taking advantage of that and actually go Tauros, but... I can't exactly do that because I'm because I have to fear. Again, Chansey is always going to come in. <laughs> He's always going to bring the Chansey in. So I'll just go Starmie here. Just to, wow. Okay, I could have actually went Tauros. I'll Thunderbolt. Get some more chip on that. Go back into Chansey. Make him waste more PP. Goes for T Wave. Good. Um. T Wave again. In case he wants to go Tauros this time, but again, he's not going to switch. Like he will, he will keep doing this. So he's got eleven soft boils. Just Thunderbolt again. Wow, that's crazy. I see. He's going to go back into Chansey anyway, making waste more T waves. That's fine. Oh, he actually is going to commit to it. Alright, this is dead now. I can go Starmie now. Gets a crit, which is nice. <laughs> Great for my opponent to get the crit there when he needed it the most. And now he's dead. So cool. Goes Chansey there. Waste more PP. We go back into Chansey. Um, going Tauros now. And we just body slam here. And this is dead. Perfect. Um... Could EQ actually, but body slam still fine. Chloe, that's what his last bomb was. Okay, then we definitely went with Starmie, especially because that para too. Well, not exactly because he has Chloe. Like actually, with him having Chloe, it's actually even more dangerous because now it's a fear boom. So it's basically a boom offense kind of. Well, pretty much it was just offense. It was offense. Um. Yeah, him having a Chloe is a problem. Having this is actually is actually a very big issue. Um, it's manageable. It, it's definitely manageable, but um, it'll definitely be annoying now. But like, like it looks like it looks like I'm in a I'm in the winning position, but it's not because because <laughs> Chancy Chancy just doesn't die at that range unless I get a crit. Which I mean, the chances of getting a crit with Tauros, with it being like relatively healthy and not paralyzed the chances of it getting a crit are still pretty high um because of Tauros' speed tier uh, or because of how fast Tauros is so i could still go for crits like i still have that option but um but yeah i don't want to go Tauros. or i don't want to stay in here with Tauros on cloister because i don't want to take more clamp i don't want to take clamp damage um i think star is the better candidate for that Goes for Blizzard. Okay, so he wants to get the freeze. We're going to recover here since he's going Chansey again. And we're going back into Chansey. He'll probably make the double back. Yeah, he did. He actually went uh, Zam, which is fine. I'm going to recover here. So he goes Tauros there. And we get a full recovery. Um, yeah, he's playing with fire at this point. Like, I, th I guess he has to, to be fair. Um, Let's see. I could make the Tauros play, but it's not necessary. And if Starmie gets paralyzed, it's still not the end of the world. So, I can go Starmie anyway. And that happened. And I'm going Tauros now on Chansey. Alright, and we go back into Chansey. On his Chansey. And we Ice Beam now on Tauros. Or Chloe. Okay, I didn't think he'd go Chloe. That's still fine. I think he'll Boom. I think he'll boom. So if he booms, then we are definitely in some trouble. So I may have to hope he gets fully paralyzed. Nope, he clamps. That's fine. Uh, go Starmie. There we go. Now he has to boom. <laughs> now he has to boom. Um, 
Or again, he still has Chansey anyway. So, <sighs> what do I do? Just Thunderbolt. Yeah. Let's get more damage on that. So, he's forced to recover again. Which means we still go back into Chansey. So, let's see. Goes for T-Wave. Um, He's going to recover. An 11 soft boiled. Just Thunderbolt. Yeah. Again, I want to go Tauros, but I can't. <laughs> I just can't. Like, he's put me in this kind of grit lock right now. Where I literally can't attack him. Like, if t like if Lax wasn't frozen, then this would be a lot. This would be a lot more manageable. But he's done a good job of stalling out my T-Waves with Zan being paralyzed. And also with Tauros taking Thunderbolt damage. So, he's doing a good job with that. Which means he still has enough in the tank to really mess me up. Um, and he's preserved his Ice Beams well. So he's playing really well. Um, and T-Wave doesn't really matter anymore. So let's keep Thunderbolting. Zam again. Going Tauros now. He'll probably go Cloy. I definitely see Cloy. Or Chansey again. But I have no other option but going Tauros. So he's going to throw this out now. So he throws out Zam. Fine. So, Chloe gets to come back in. Or Chansey, actually. Still going Chansey on my own. I'm not risking T-Wave. Goes Tauros. We go Starmie. Goes for Para. We Blizzard for some more chip. Goes Chansey again. We get some chip on that. Now, I could go for it right now. I definitely can. If I go for it, I think we win. I do, but then there's still Chloe being relatively healthy and if i go for beam then it's kind of i can't go for beam <laughs> i can't go for beam i have to go chanty again so he gets a soft boiled again i want to make him waste more soft boiled so he's got nine more we could probably do this for maybe like 30 or more turns also my music uh probably 30 more turns that's probably what's gonna end up doing or what's gonna end up being soft thunderbolt here actually i'll just ice beam again why do, why do I need to Ice Beam? The Ice Beam doesn't cover anything. I think it doesn't anymore. Thunderbolt's fine. Okay. T-Waves again. It's got 22 of those. Still gonna keep Thunderbolting. Goes for Sing. Just keep, um... Just T-Wave. It's for T-Wave. Thunderbolt here. Okay, more chip. He's still not in Lax range. Or not, he's still not in Tauros range yet. Yeah, and Aesopo is there. Okay. It's T-Wave. Okay. 77, or 70, uh, 78. 78. Okay, 11, T-Wave. Going Tauros. I think I have to go for it now. So let's see. Okay, we actually got it. Wow. So, I have the option of going for Beam. I also have the option of going for Body Slam. If I Body Slam... Then this dies. And actually, no, if he if he goes for T-Wave, then I can win with Starmie. So we're well, we're fine actually. He has to go Chloe. So we body slam here on Chloe. Or he just throws this out. So we're still fine. In fact, he in fact I don't think he made the right call going for T-Wave. He should have went for soft boiled instead. Just to get it just to get it like healthier. But um now that this is paral now that um now this is paralyzed and starting the fastest on my on my team and Chansey is basically going to be in a uh, blizzard crit range i think we win with starmie so this should still be gg i'll body slam here as he goes cloy uh, we get more damage on cloy and we actually get a crit too so now beam can kill and beam kills everything now so i'll go for it but we get fully paralyzed but it's still disease so i'll go for it again and that's a dead cloy and we win nice
Nice, nice. That's GG. All right. Thank God. <laughs> that was. All right. And now he's getting mad. He's like low. Like. <laughs> All right. I'll be fair. I'll be fair. I'll be. I'll be very fair. I'll be fair. I'll be fair. The beginning was trash. Wow. GG when you win, but endless winning when you when anything bad happens to you. <laughs> no, you're trash. <laughs> okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Have fun being exposed. <laughs> <laughs> you're live. <laughs> <laughs> GG dummy <laughs> GG dummy <laughs> uh, I love to see it uh, You love to see it Anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this one If you guys did please make sure to leave a like And comment on the video Letting me know what did you guys think about that That beautiful game That game was I'm gonna be honest I'm gonna be honest I was really pissed off I was pissed off in the beginning Because when I saw that freeze on lax i was just like you know what that's not great i don't like that that wasn't a good that really wasn't good i didn't really have much of an much of an option to be fair when it came to that like actually i probably saw the replay let me just go to it real quick and we could just kind of discuss it um but yeah i don't know i don't know man i i really wanted to keep lax around but i don't think there was really a way to keep that mon around um let me see if I could find it. Uh, it should be up. Unless he, like, unless he hid the replay. He probably did hit the replay. But I think it sh I think mine should still be up. It's probably private. Yeah. <laughs> because he, he hit it. Um. Okay, so let's just go through this real quick. And let's actually break this down. Alright, so turn one, we got Starmie versus Zam. So, like I said, right? Like I said before about this whole matchup with Starmie versus Zam, or at least with, like, lead Psychics. Um, turn one, they never T-wave turn one because they want to force the other Psychic to go for T-wave. Um, or they want to keep their Psychic around as a sleep fodder, you know? So, what he, so what he's trying to do, what my opponent's trying to do, uh, Jan, Janzen, or whatever, let's call him Jay, or Zen. Let's actually let's just say Zen. Zen what what Zen wants to do is that he wants me to T wave his Chansey so that way he can avoid letting his own Chansey uh go to sleep or letting his own Chansey avoid getting slept or getting frozen. So what he wants me to do is go for T wave, which is why he'd make the switch into uh, into Chansey. But I would do the same thing as well because I don't want my Chansey getting frozen or or slept. So I want T wave on my Chansey. So that's why I made the switch here. And that's why he made the switch as well, because he doesn't want his, he doesn't, like, he wants this getting paralyzed. He wants this getting paralyzed to avoid, free, to avoid the freeze and avoid the sleep. So, now that my chance is in on turn two, what I can do now is go for, uh, let's go for Ice Beam. I went for Ice Beam because, um, basically it's kind of a catch-all play. Like, Sing would be good. If I had Sing on the chance, I would have went for it right here, uh, since I would have covered Zam. But at the same time, that also would have been good for him. That would have been good for Zen because he wanted this Zam to get um, he wanted the Zam to go to sleep so he could keep it, so he could keep Zam as a sleep fodder. But instead, I went for Ice Beam because that does cover that, and also the Freeze does suck. I'm not gonna lie. Like he complained. Like I mean, I know I complained about Freeze and uh, on my, on my lax, but that actually mattered. My lax getting frozen definitely mattered. Zam getting frozen. While it did matter, it didn't because this mod is meant to be, you know, a way to absorb sleep and status, really. But mostly sleep. Freeze does suck, though. So, this Zam is dead. Um, anyways, he goes egg there as I make my switch into egg. So, I made the switch into egg because now that his Zam is frozen, that means he has a mod that can absorb status now. So, Zam will be a status absorber while it's dead and can't do anything. Um, but now I get a free sleep on something. So, bringing in egg means that I can sleep something. So... Unfortunately, my opponent does win the speed tie, and he is able to sleep my egg before I can sleep his. So if I did get the sleep off there and got his egg slept, then that meant what I, then that then that would have mean that would have meant that I had two mons. Um, that would have had two mon status, and he would have been in a much more 
difficult spot than I would have been. So the sleep miss. So I mean the sleep, the speed. I can't talk. The speed tie does suck, but he managed to uh, win the speed tie and sleep my uh, sleep my mon. So my sleeper's dead. Um, goes for psychic there. I think he went for psychic because it is a catch-all play. Like if I did want to switch and maybe go into Starmie, or if I wanted to switch and go into like Chanty or something, then he would have gotten damage anyway. So him going for psychic makes sense, but also. It's just it's just a safe play in general. Like he could have went for Sunsport too, but like that's not even necessary when you've already slept the money you need to sleep. So psychic makes sense here. So he makes a psychic play, and then he goes into Tauros on my uh, on my egg. So I waste three turns of sleep and don't wake up, which again I'm fine with. I wanted I wanted egg to waste sleep, but now that I've wasted three turns, um, at least I'll be able to potentially wake up in the next three. <laughs> so I wasted three, which is still relatively good anyway. So I don't really mind that. Um, but him bringing in Tauros is bad for me because I only have two answers to that. Being my Tauros, or not Tauros, being my Lax, or being my Chansey. Which Chansey is kind of not really the one I want to go into. Starmie or, or Lax are better switchings anyway. So I go La I go Starmie first as he does go for the Body Slam. And unfortunately I don't get Paralyzed, which is great. Or, I mean, fortunately I don't get Paralyzed, which is great. I go for Blizzard here on Chansey because that is a catch-all play and I, get and I get damage on it. He goes for Chansey. Goes for the ice beam on me, so he's trying to get a freeze now. Since I did get the freeze on my, uh, since I get, since I did get the freeze on his, uh, on his jam. So now, the reason why I was taking so long to make this play and think about, okay, what do I want to do? Do I want to go for T wave? Do I want to go for ice beam? What do I want to do? What would be the better play to make? Um, really, I wanted to sing this thing. Like Chansey getting sung means it's dead. Like that's that's really what it means. Like if you if you sing Chansey, it's basically a dead mon. Um. Or, I mean, the chances of it being a dead mon are pretty high. So, so yeah. Um, but I was kind of forced into a spot where I I kind of had to either go for damage or just T-wave it. Um, I could have tried to go egg, and I think I did try to go for egg to, to, you know, wake up and try and sleep it, like, multiple turns um, in a row. But, you know, that didn't really work out. So, I go for T-wave instead and just go for it. So Chansey is gonna get T-Wave there, gonna get paralyzed, and then and then last comes in, and then I get frozen on turn eleven. So that freeze sucks. That freeze definitely sucked. But I literally had no other way. <laughs> I had nothing else to do but go for that. Like I had to go for the trade. Cause if he did get if he did, like if he did freeze my Chansey, then it was kind of a wrap. It was a wrap. It really was a wrap. Like his Chansey basically would have um status my it would have status my um it would have potentially uh, T wave through everything else here too, so but T wave through everything else, which means that I wouldn't have another status was uh, that I wouldn't have a status absorber. But while Lax is frozen and basically dead, it does count as a as a um as a mon I can use for like for fodder as a way to like you know absorb T wave, absorb absorb freeze or whatever, absorb like absorb freeze, absorb sleep, and absorb T wave. So while Lax is dead, it's still useful. So um, I go Tauros here as my opponent's gonna get paralyzed. I believe he tried to probably he probably tried to go for T Wave on the switch, or maybe just ice, or maybe just go for Ice Beam again. But why would you go for Ice Beam again when you already froze them on that you wanted to get freeze or you wanted to freeze? So he probably tried to go for like maybe T Wave on my switch in. So that miss does so that pair does suck for him. But I get to take advantage of that and go for Body Slam on the switch in, or just go for Body Slam on whatever you do. So he did get paralyzed again. Um, I really thought he did switch, but. Again, as you can see, Chansey can take Body Slam relatively well, relatively well from Tauros, but I don't think he wanted to just stay in here and just take Body Slams all day. So, unless this reflect Chansey, which he wasn't. So, he goes Lax there on the Body Slam as I bring in Pori. So, like I said, Pori walls this. Um, granted, that crit did matter a lot, but like I said, for, Pori walls this thing to, uh, like, walls, uh, can wall Lax very well. As you saw that crit did 74%, but we can but we can just recover all that damage up. And also we can still avoid para too. Um because of because of the normal type uh because of the whole normal type thing. Where normals can't get paralyzed by body slam. And also another thing to note is that Lax is frozen, which means that he can't freeze, he can't go for like free spam on me. He can't try and freeze my Porygon, which means that we will always wall be like we always wall Lax. So the freeze is a blessing and a curse at the same time. Blessing because we can avoid freeze, but a curse because last can't do anything and it's just basically dead father, but or dead or death death fodder. Um but that's the same thing with Zen's own Zam anyway. So the trade 
so the trait isn't like that bad anyway. So he does go for Ice Beam. Um, he tried to go for Freeze, but as you saw, the Freeze Claws did activate, so he can't go for a Double Freeze, because Double Freeze would be kind of stupid. <laughs> so he goes for T-Wave and misses. That miss actually mattered a lot. That was actually a really good T-Wave on his end to try and paralyze me, or, or at least paralyze the Porygon. If he did paralyze Porygon, he would have had a better chance in actually handling, in actually handling uh, Porygon, because the crit chances would have been better for him since his last would have been faster than my Porygon, and he would have been able to actually beat me down um, with potential crits. So luckily that T-Wave miss, that T-Wave miss does suck, but it did kind of go in my favor. So now I can get some initiative with Tauros. Goes for Egg there on the body slam as I do go for it to get some chip. And I do get, chip, and I do get some chip on Egg. Um, he goes for Psychic. So when I, in, during the game, I was saying that, oh, he might go for Boom. I don't think Boom really made sense to be honest, especially this early on. Like you don't need to Boom anything. Like you'd only Boom, you'd only Boom if you really need to. I think for Zen's for Zen's case, I don't think he needed to boom me, uh, cause again he already got the he already got what he wanted. He slept my egg, and he slept and he froze my and he froze Lax. So really, all he can do is go for Psychic and potentially like you know force me out with potential boom, um, if I bring in Chansey. So there's that, or at least I will force him out to bring in his own Chansey to recover back, cause he wants to try and recover back his Chansey, so he can handle my special attackers. But yeah, um, he goes Chansey there as I said. I go Chansey here as he did predict my uh, my switch. I go Tauros here as he goes for the recover, and now Chansey's back to basically full, and I can't really handle his Chansey that well anymore. And also, I do have to fear getting paralyzed or getting sung. So what I do here is I go back into Chansey, as I actually go Egg here to waste some turns. So I do waste a turn. So I waste one turn, he goes for Ice Beam, and I'm just trying to wake up so I can keep Egg around just for one more turn. Um, But yeah, uh, he is going to get the full six turns of sleep and he does get fully paralyzed there which means i can keep egg around for a little bit longer goes to egg there or goes zam there as i bring in chancy as he makes the double back into chancy on my tauros so i go tauros there to pl to apply pressure on on the zam um but again uh he, he made the right he made the right play to double back so he made the double um he made the double back as um okay actually you know what now that i think about this play right here uh turn 28 let me go back real quick i think uh let me see. Well, no, it was the he made he made the prediction. He predicted my Tauros to come in. That's why he made that made that play. Um, staying in with Chansey on turn twenty seven or turn twenty eight. Actually, no, on turn twenty seven, it didn't really matter. Like Chip would have been nice, but I also would have lost more PP. So I don't think that was really necessary on my end. But bringing Tauros was what I wanted to do. But now because I did that, I can actually learn the Chansey to go for T Wave, and he did go for T Wave, and that in that for. And that paralyzed my Chansey, which means that now that Chansey's paralyzed, I can avoid sleep and I can avoid freeze and para. Well, I mean, I'm paralyzed, but I can avoid freeze and sleep, which are the biggest status moves in, in RBYOE because those two moves or those two statuses basically kill him on. So now he goes for Ice Beam, trying to waste more PP, and we just does this for a couple more turns. So goes Lax there as I go for Thunderbolt to get Chip. So now you see is that I'm Bolt Beam Chansey. I go Porygon here as he goes for Body Slam to get some Chip on me, but that doesn't do very much damage. Uh, Egg comes in as I go for the Blizzard on the Switch. So I think that was a really solid play on my end to get the Blizzard off on Egg. Uh, that definitely worked out in my favor. T-Wave would have been a lot better, actually. T-Wave would have been much better, but I went for Blizzard in case he wanted to try go Porygon, or not go Porygon, go, go into uh, Chansey. So I'm glad I got the Blizzard off on Egg and Porygon was able to do, and Porygon was able to do some work. So definitely not upset about how the way i played uh egg here or not egg porygon here he goes for psychic on my chancy switch he goes for it again to try and get another drop which he does get another drop but i get to top one here and keep chancy alive for a little bit longer he goes for mega drain to get some recovery he gets 15 percent of recovery i go for t wave now and now the egg is paralyzed which means it's forced to go for boom and i let egg go here because it would have been nice to try and sleep something but like what can i sleep <laughs> what can i sleep i can't sleep anything it would have been nice for like Cloyster maybe, but like I can't sleep anything else. So his only option is to boom here as Egg is pretty much useless and has already like done its job. So, and also you can't really switch into anything else to take boom. Like Lax dies to boom, Toro takes too much damage, Chansey dies, and Zam is just death, is just death fodder. And he wants to keep that alive so he can keep that as his uh, freeze, as his uh, freeze absorber. And he can't go Cloyster because I'll reveal what his last mon is. So... Again, him booming makes this makes the most play or makes the most sense there. Starmie comes in and Starmie puts pressure on all the other three mons here. 
Goes for the recovery here so I can keep Starmie healthy, and then he goes for Body Sim to try and paralyze me, which he doesn't get, unfortunately. Gets a recovery here again. Or actually, no, I T-Wave this time because, like, it seemed... I thought maybe he'd try and stand again and try and go for freeze or try and go for the para again, but like he has Chansey. So to be fair, I should have just recovered to keep this alive, but it's fine. I can still recover on the on Taros later. Or even on Dam if he did try and bring Dam in. So I get to recover here on the lax switch into Chansey. Um now Taros comes in as I try to go for T-Wave. So remember so again, remember earlier in the match when I was saying I went to T-Wave that um I was predicting him to maybe go Taros or or something or again stay in here and go for body slam i want to go for t-wave because t-wave did cover did cover lax and again it did cover the turo switch but again he did make the turo switch which i which i thought was insane like if he did t like if turtles got t-wave there on that turn on turn 43 um not 43 i mean 42 if he got paralyzed on, on turn 42 then this would have been a lot harder for him um in fact i think my turtles would have had a much would have had much better odds to clean this game up a lot earlier but um but again, I did get the turn. I did get the pair of, like turns later, so there's that. Um, I throw out Lax now since Lax has done his job. But at the same time, I kind of just keep. But at the same time, now he could freeze me with uh, with Zan or not with Zan with Lax or even with his own Tauros or again with Chansey or even with the uh, Cloister. So with Lax going, um, it does again open up that chance for him to set up or that chance for him to freeze me again. But now what it comes down to is just kind of trying to outplay him now. Um, and try and like again keep my chancy or try and wear down his soft will so that we can't recover can't keep recover stalling um, So we pretty much go into the chancy world for like the next what like 20 turns or something like that And he's just gonna try and like pivot between again Toro, Zam, and chancy and then you know closer gets revealed like later on but um So army comes in which puts pressure on him and force him to switch I go for the recovery here as he just goes for the uh Goes for body slam which again. I don't really agree with I don't know why he didn't just go for rest there. Rest would have been fine for him. Again, that would have kept that would have left him with the T wave with the uh, T wave absor a T wave absorber. But I guess it also would have kept him open for Stormy anyway. So I guess all he really had to go off was for all he really had to do was go for the um go for the freeze. Or not yeah, go for the uh, body slam pair, I mean. So unfortunately he didn't get it there. And I get to keep my Stormy alive for one more turn. I go for Thunderbolt here in case he wanted to stay in with with Lax. Um I go for the Chansey here as he goes for Sing. And, uh, again, he can sing here because I pretty much lost my, my sleep absorber already. Um, again, egg being gone and boomed and lax being gone anyway. So I only have one status absorber being Chansey now, which again, Ch that's Chansey's job to absorb the status. Um, so now he brings in lax on the switch. Uh, so now if I get the ice beam here, then lax dies, which I did get the ice beam off and lax does die there. And I can bring in Chansey or bring in Tauros to apply pressure on me, which he did. Bring in Porygon to sack it, because I don't need Pori anymore for the Lax. Since again, it already did its job handling Lax. So Army comes in, which puts pressure on Chansey again, or puts pressure on, pressure on the Tauros to switch. I go Chansey here, and we just do this for a couple turns, pretty much, just wasting PP. Goes Tauros there, as I go for the Sopo to keep Chansey healthy. Um, goes Chansey there on my on my Starmie switch. I go for T-Wave instead, in case he wanted to try and stay in, and now we just do this for a couple turns. So, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, T-Wave, 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 Para, Para, Sopo, Ice Beam. T-Wave, Miss, Zam there. So again, he went Zam to waste PP. That's why he's going to try and keep doing this for a little for a little bit. Also, how much time have I went by? I went I went on an hour just talking about this game. <laughs> okay, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. But he wants to waste PP. That's why he's going into Zam to waste PP on me. So uh, he goes Chansey there. And again, get paralyzed there. T-Wave there. Thunderbolt goes Zam there to waste more PP. I go Zam, or I go Starmie here as he gets as he gets frozen. I go for the uh, Blizzard to get some chip, or actually Thunderbolt to get some chip, get a crit there too. Um, now the reason why I can't bring in Tauros, right? Like I mentioned it a couple times already, but the reason why I can't bring it in yet is because this Chansey is not low enough. Like I'm gonna show you the calc right now on how much on how much Tauros typically does to Chansey, um, and why also I can't go for Beam anyway with Tauros because. I don't know what that last mono is. Like, 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 I don't know what that last mono is. Like, I was expecting it to be a, um, let me see, Starmie, Turos versus Chansey. Um, so yeah, Body Slam does 35 to 41%, so that is not a lot of damage. Um, while Beam does 62 to 73%. So if he's around 73%-ish, 
like around that range. Hold on, let me go to the replay. If he's just like around that range, then Beam is free. Beam is definitely free. Um, even Body Slam is free as well, since Body Slam can crit too. Um, and the crit chances are pretty high too, especially with the um, with Chansey getting paralyzed. So that also goes in my favor. So crit chances are definitely good here if I can get them. But uh, again. I just can't go for it. And again, a crit doesn't even kill a uh, Chansey. Like, Body Slam crit doesn't kill Chansey from that range anyway. So, I just have to keep burning down his own Chansey with T with Ice Beam plus T-Wave. Or Ice Beam plus Thunderbolt. And also just try and, like, you know, waste waste PP with T-Wave. Goes Tauros there as I go for Thunderbolt there on the Switch. Get some chip on that. Goes for Body Slam there. And I was hoping I didn't get paralyzed. I didn't, and I get to paralyze the Tauros. Now Tauros is paralyzed, which means that now it's looking like the game is pretty much on the way to being wrapped up since his turret's getting paralyzed means that my own turret is gonna outspeed him, pressure him, and same with Starmie too. So this is what I wanted to, this is what I wanted the whole time. Like back 30 turns ago, if this happened right here, if this happened like right here on that turn, then Turos would have been ready to go. And also that would have forced him to bring in Chloe earlier. So I go Starmie here as he goes for body slam to try and paralyze me. He gets a crit though instead. So if he got a crit pair, that definitely would have made me mad. <laughs> would have made me hella mad. Chansey comes in here as I go for Thunderbolt to get more chip. Um, back in Chansey again. Goes back into Tauros. So again, he's trying to make the doubles to try and catch me. I go Tauros here as he goes for Body Slam. Now, you could have said, Stamara, why didn't you go Starmie instead? Well, Starmie would have been a fine play too. It would have been, but I didn't want to risk the pair of chances. That's why I, that's why I made the Tauros play instead. And I wasn't going to stand with Chansey because Chansey just dies to beam. So, Tauros was kind of the catch-all play. So, that's why I went Tauros here, and I go for the Body Slam to get more damage on him. Gets paralyzed there, and now he reveals Cloyster. As I go for a Body Slam, and get a para there, too. So, that para did hurt him. So, Army comes in now, gets go for, goes for Blizzard to try and freeze me, because he, he, really he really wants that freeze again. Goes Chansey there as I go for the T-Wave, or not T-Wave, the recover to keep Starmie healthy. Back into Chansey, as he goes back into Zam, and now recover here uh, to bring Chansey back to full. Mm-hmm. And then I go right back into Starmie again since Starmie's back to full. His Taurus is getting paralyzed. I go to Starmie. I go Taurus here on Chansey. And now I go back into Chansey here to waste more PP on him as he gets paralyzed there. Uh, I go for the Ice Beam. Yeah, I go for the Ice Beam there on that turn. Doesn't do a whole lot. It goes for Clamp there. But I can switch right back into Starmie. And if he gets paralyzed, which he did get paralyzed there, then I can put pressure on, this, on Chansey again by Blizzarding or going for Thunderbolt and get a crit there too. So... Back into Chansey again. He goes for T-Wave there. And again, if I can just keep him low enough to the point where I can feel safe enough to go Tauros, then that's all I'm trying to do. But yeah, he goes back into Zam. I go for Thunderbolt again. And now I go into uh, Tauros here as he's going to sack Zam at this point. So he sacks his Zam. Um, doesn't need it anymore. And now he has to go. He now has to commit with Chansey pretty much. So I go back into Chansey. He goes for Tauros there as I go right back into Starmie. And he gets paralyzed again, and now I Thunderbolt again as he goes back into Chansey. Oh no, Blizzard that time, I bet. So Blizzard there, which is 24%, uh, back in Chansey again, as he's going to softball it again. Because again, he doesn't want his Chansey to die, but I want to make sure it dies with my Tauros. That's what I'm trying to commit to. Um, and again, if I get lucky enough to get the full para, then Chansey is basically going to be going to be dead. So para again, T-Wave's there, T-Wave, softball, T-Bolt, T-Bolt, he's at 68%. Full para there. I can beam now. But I go for body slam, which is still safer. And he goes for T-Wave. And now, like I said earlier in the match, at the, or what, like I said at this point in the match, Starmie wins now because Starmie can potentially Blizzard crit that. Um, granted, the Blizzard crit is very, very, like, rough. Um, but it is possible. It is. Um, well, not really. <laughs> that's, that's a Blizzard. That's a crit recovery. <laughs> okay, so crit Blizzard does... 23 23 to 27 percent so he was basically in range or well i mean it's, it's kind of a roll though it is a roll but the roll is like 26 technically so he would have been like 26 so it's still the odds are still better for stormy the odds are still much better for stormy and if he tries to recover still then again i can still kind of pressure him with tauros anyway but he still could have brought this back with cloister too so there's still there's still a lot more to really like you know look into here but basically, Starmie was going to win at this point uh, with him paralyzing me. Goes close to there on the switch as I go for body slam and I get a crit and I can boom and I can beam here. But I get paralyzed, but so does he. And now I beam and I win. And that's GG. 
So that is pretty much how that game goes. Um, again, this was a very tough game. Like, this might have been one of the toughest ladder games I've had. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, like this game, this game was quite difficult. <laughs> one out of seven. I don't know what he's talking about. I've only played him twice. So, <laughs> so, um, this is actually my first win. Because he beat me once and I beat him once. So, you know what? Whatever he said about that one out of seven. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. But he, <laughs> just let, just know. If I fight him again, it's, man, I'm going to be crazy. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this game and enjoyed my breakdown too. Um, again, I like games like these. I like games that are close like this. Um, I, the only thing I don't like is Freeze. I hate Freeze. <laughs> I hate Freeze so much. Freeze is so stupid. But um, but still, that's kind of, I guess, the way how I felt I needed to play or the way how I played this match. It was really tough. Again, the dual status, Ice Beam, Chansey. I guess, tri well, I guess it would be triple status since, you know, you can freeze things. Um, but dual status chance with the ice beam with ice beam is definitely dangerous to, to deal with, especially on an, on an offensive team like this. So, so we managed though. And Porygon put in work. That's all I wanted. <laughs> I just wanted Porygon to put in work. So I'm happy about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, if you guys did, please make sure to leave a like and comment on the vid. Letting me know what RBY OU Pokemon would you, would you buff and why? <laughs> Let's know that in the comments below. And uh, yeah, that's that. So be safe, wash your hands, and uh, peace out.